all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we have a returning champ adept the 13 year old youngest champ versus senville the oldest champion he's 31 versus adept who's 13 we're gonna see if age really matters in siege here does it determine skill are you really better when you're younger let's find out in round number one all right round number one adept our youngest champ is going to be starting upstairs in dorms with the malusi and you guys know if you've been watching me for long enough you know i used to stress how good malusi is in 1v1s Sanville playing his classic iana that he is known for he's going to be pushing outside of master right now and adept is going to be pushing into trophy he's going to want to take this gunfight it looks like look at him already doing 360s he's absolutely cracked look how much energy he has compared to Senvale's a little bit of slow movement missing the grenade there but he's gonna come in for the swing into trophy adept holding an off angle right now he's gonna do a little bit of damage onto Senvale but Senvale will use this as an opportunity to push up the grenade comes out it's going to miss and wow adept misses the shots and Senvale will take round number one all right round number two adept's going to be spawn peaking master but senvale will not be seen and he's going to be pushing up to that master balk the front door is open and adept is going to push downstairs it sounds like he was able to hear that senvale was pushing master he shoots one of senvale's drones and that's actually really important is senvale has limited drones now he is iana so it's not too bad but anyways adept now pushing into freezer senville pushing down the white stairs it looks like we could have a staircase fight here two minutes left the hatch is soft so senville could certainly open that up if he'd like to he's got two grenades but oh wow the swing and the oldest champ picks up yet another round all right, once again, Senville's going to be pushing outside of Master. Adept going to be able to shoot out his drone, and well, Senville's going to, going to be forced to Iana clone in because of that, and wow, very aggressively sprinting into Master now as Adept rotates out of Trophy and into Attic, but here comes the grenade from Senville. Ooh, Adept's able to narrowly miss, but Senville runs into sight. Adept seems to know this. He's going to swing, and he grabs round number three the youngest champ finally picking up a round all right adept now after winning the last round putting himself onto attack so we're gonna see how sunvale our oldest champ holds down dorms as adept is going to be pushing in through master very similar to what sunvale did here both players loving the iana and the lesion i like it both great operators for a 1v1 scenario adept wanting to be very slow very careful about how he pushes in he knows that senville's on lesion so he wants to make sure he knows where all the traps are before he pushes in nade goes out but it will miss wow senville going to do most of adept's hp as senville now pushes into master he's going or trophy's going to throw impacts into the master closet narrowly missing adept but the shots will come out from senvale and he's going to be leading us right now three to one adept going to have to win two straight rounds to come back here on oregon you know it's funny because a lot of people say that the younger you are the better you play but right now senvale our oldest champ re one not looking good for adept here hopefully he's able to pull back two more rounds all right adept gonna be droning the front side right now seeing that there's no rotates between sight senville does have two impact so he can easily make the rotate at any point in time but adept going to see that there's no rotate front side and he's potentially going to be trying to push down through the launcher stairs to push into sight right now maybe go freezer side as he's going to open up the main door as a distraction now senville did make some holes in the freezer wall so he will be able to hold freezer from his position right now and with these goo mines i'm sure he's got one set up somewhere in freezer so he'll be alerted to adept's position but adept shooting the camera will definitely alert him as well and 
There we go. There's the leash of mine I was talking about. So now Sunvale going to use one of his impact grenades as a distraction there on that wall as he's going to peek through the head holes. But Adept's got a drone in sight and will spot out exactly where Sunvale is playing. And now Adept pushing up on the bottom of Freezer Stairs. Grenade in hand. Potentially going to be trying to nade towards the Freezer door as he's going to be pushing up deeper into Freezer. Sunvale swings and Senvale, the oldest champ, wins four to one on map number one. But we're gonna go on to map number two. All right, here we are on map number two, border. Senvale, our oldest champ, repelling outside of the ventilation, will take out Adept immediately in the first round. How unfortunate for the youngest champ here. All right. Our oldest champ, Senvale, going to be pushing outside of the armory balcony right now. Adept inside of small office. He's trying to figure out where that sound is coming from, but it's not below him. He's going to be able to spot out this drone here and take that out. So both of Senvale's drones are gone, but he will have the Ionic clones. He's going to perfectly time the grenade to be able to make a rotate on the wall. Very nice grenade skills coming out from Sunbell. The Yana bait will come out, but now that means he won't be able to drone for a little while longer. The grenade fake as well, and the swing from Sunbell. Wow, he just cannot be stopped. Adept goes down. All right, interesting strategy coming out from the youngest champ as he's going to open up the armory wall for Sunbell. But he's instead going to be trying to go below and nade as he expects Adept to be playing on the armory door. But unfortunately for Senvale, Adept has already moved and Adept in sight going to be using his Solus gadget, making sure that Senvale does not have a drone on him that he is unaware of. Two minutes on the clock, so Senvale's got tons of time to work with. And honestly, I believe when you're on defense, it's honestly kind of harder because on attack, when it's a 1v1, you have no utility to clear and you have infinite time to do pretty much whatever it feels like. So because of that, Adept going to be struggling a little bit here so far in this border game, but he needs to win this round if he wants to stop Sunbell from going on to match point. The shots will come out through the wall in small office. The shots will miss. Sunbell going to bait out with the Iana clone and he's going to swing now. Adept's rotated onto half wall. He swings up, shoots through the wall, but misses. Sanville realizing where he is, will push in, goes to the rotate. And now Adept will not be ready for Senville rotating through the small office wall like that. And Senville leading 3-0 right now. Wow. I'll be totally honest, guys. I absolutely did not expect this. This is incredible. Senville is the GOAT. Make sure you guys follow Senville and Adept with their socials linked down below in the description. And also, Senville is a part of Six Shot Academy. So if you want to come play ranked with Senville, consider joining. The links will be down below in the description. If you want to play ranked with me as well, you can join. We play ranked in there all the time. All right, Adept going to be bringing out Twitch with the DMR. I love this DMR. He's going to be trying to push in through East Stairs, it looks like. Wow. Sunville is going to be trying to check all the different cams that he can, trying to figure out exactly where Adept is trying to push from. And I do like the Twitch coming out from Adept because he's able to drive around and as he's droning out whatever he wants to push, he's able to take out a lot of these Leisure Mines that Sunville is placing. So I really like the Twitch play coming out from Adept. But with that being said, Sunville going to rotate out of CCTV and back in towards site now as he's going to be pushing towards office potentially trying to flank adept as adept is still unsure if cc is completely clear he's going to continue droning out now senville patiently waiting on site he doesn't mind waiting as lesion only becomes more powerful the longer the round goes on another goo in his pocket that he'll be able to use in this round but adept swings up on the office door and Finally, the youngest champ will take an yet another round. His first one on border here. All right, Adept droning into break room right now, spotting out Sunvale on the boost angle. He's going to bring in his Twitch drone, trying to clear out 
these leisure mines and cameras through the path that he wants to push in through. It looks like he's going to go in through maybe the East Stairs door. Senvale does have a rotate into 90, and he used that to push onto the East Stairs, and he's going to impact this and try to run out, suspecting that Adept was closer to the building droning, but fortunately for Adept, he chose to drone a little bit further back now. Senville rotating back into CCTV. He's honestly going to do the exact same thing he did last round. He's going to hold this until Adept pushes him out. And then he's going to rotate back into the site. So Adept's got to be careful about how he wants to push this now. But the leash of mine in his foot is not going to help. And it looks like Senville might push up the swing outside. But fortunately for Adept, he's able to push in before Senville sees him. Here comes the swing. Adept's going to take a little bit of damage. Senvale escapes with full health. He's going to swing in the office door, and the flick will come out from Senvale, who will win 4-1. to one. GG's to the oldest champ and the youngest champ. Make sure you guys follow them with their socials. Link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.